Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We are going to do an unboxing today. Z Blaze, you know that name from the original Z Blaze Blitz, the first waterproof, fully submergible Android smartwatch, all the way to the Z Blaze Thor, Thor 4, Thor S, Thor Pro, every one of them unique Android smartwatches. Well, Z Blaze is entering the arena of the Smart Fitness Watch, and inside this box, we have the Crystal 2. Yep, the Crystal 2. Now, let me tell you something. I've been looking all over the place for this. I don't see it on their website or anybody else's. The close I've, I've found hello, is Banggood's listing of the original Z-Blaze Crystal Curved Heart Rate Meter, bada bada ba IPS 65 smartwatch. This is from 2015, folks. It's long ago sold out, and it's being revamped now as the Crystal 2. And we're about to take a look at it. This is Z-Blaze's entry into the fitness world with this new revision. And come to know, look at the really exquisite packaging they provide. Right out of the box, it's uh, elegant. Perfect gift box. You've got something here you can lift up, and it's got some symbols that indicate that we have something in the box, probably for charging. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I'm doing them backwards today. I'm saving that for later. Bands. All right. Okay. We have obviously removable bands. Oh, they're nice. Uh, feel that soft silicone. Mm. Okay with your standard pins, quick release, and we have a charging wire, two pin kind, USB. That's what's in here. And now, drum roll please. The actual watch, chiclet itself is here. Yes, okay. There's where the charging port connects. Wow. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these two-pin kind that don't even hold. Look at that thing. That's a strong connection on this one. Heart rate monitor. Sealed all the way around. Look. Nice design. We're going to peel off the cover. Shows a button down at the bottom. That's where we would turn it on. And that is all there is right there. Oh, look. There's more. Looks like we've got a uh, screen protector in here if you want it. Yep, yep. There's this own little screen protector you can attach if you like them. I'm not a fan of them. I've never had any trouble with getting uh, the glass to scratch on, on mine. Uh, but it's there. comes with it. And then a manual. And within the manual now, the user's guide. In English, great. Talks about how we put the bands on. And there, there's the QR code uh, that we're going to need to download Wear Health. Okay. That'll be the tethering app that we'll be using to connect to the phone. Pretty sure we've looked at Wear Health already. Uh, we'll visit that. Bind uh, to your phone, and once you're connected, you can start to use it. Here's the charging. Really simple. And frequently asked questions. And uh, any other little problems you have. And the overall basic parameters. And that's it. Then we're into multiple languages. So, we're relying on the device being self-explanatory once we turn it on, which we will do as soon as I, I put the bands on it and charge it up. We'll be right back. Here it is on. Nice little band. Could work for male or female. Let's walk through it real quick. We have one watch face, and from what I can tell, press and hold, it doesn't change. We only have the one. But you have a lot of good data down here, along with the date and time. And it's set for AM or PM, which is uh, selectable in the app. When you move forward, you get your step count, calories burned, and miles traveled, all based on a pedometer. Then you get into the heart rate analysis. And this, of course, is going to sit there and send that little green diode into your arm, reading your capillary movement and coming back with a, um, blood, a heart rate uh, reading for you. I'm in the 80s, low 80s. Makes sense after lunch. Um... Beyond here, we get into last night's sleep monitoring information. Then you get into uh, messages. If you've had any text messages or whatnot, they'll come in and you can read them. 
when we get into the sports area, notice that we've got uh, all this data that comes in from running or walking or hiking, I believe, biking. Mm, couldn't figure that one out. That's, that's beyond me. What do you guys think? Uh, then you've got this one. Is that basketball, I think? That looks like a hoop. <laughs> icon driven sports yes okay soccer football uh and that's it so that whole sports arena there any one of those are selectable to go into events there's no gps in this so if it's a distance thing it's going to be based off of the pedometer readings but a lot of them is basically going to be calories uh computed based on your activity level here you've got a stopwatch press and hold it initiates it tap it it'll begin counting in hundreds of a second when you're done you just simply stop it to leave it and press long to come back again cycles from the beginning as most of these do so we catch up with stopwatch and go to a find your phone if you're tethered and then the uh identification for when you're actually connecting it to the uh the phone and the phone app I believe that is it. Yep, and we loop back again. So speaking of app, the app we're going to look at is called Wear Health. It's downloadable from the Google Play Store. When you open it, you get into this basic opening page. And of course, first off, you're not going to be connected. So you need to go way over here to mine. And in mine, right now I am connected. It was a simple thing of... Uh, of hooking it up and pressing the button and finding it and, and connecting it. Uh, and it's located in here. If you want to see it from the beginning, I can go into device management here, disconnect the device, okay? Come back over here, connect a bracelet. It searches for it. Crystal is the name. And it's connecting and it's connected. Should be as simple as that for you. From this page, you can go in and set all of your user information and whether you're on the left or right hand, and you can even choose your skin tone. What's closest to your body skin tone might help in getting your heart rate um, readings correct. You can calibrate uh, blood pressure, it says. However, this app is a universal one, and we haven't seen that we're doing blood pressure in here. Let's see if I do that and let it go. Start measuring. It's doing a countdown for heart rate, you see. Um, but the app will support both heart rate and blood pressure. It's one of those universal kind of apps. We're going to get a 30 second. There you go. It's starting to get the heart rate remotely now. You notice it's not showing up actually the value on the band itself, but it is right here in the app. And when it gets down to zero, it should be fully calibrated. Now, normally that calibration is for blood pressure, but here we, uh, we got a calibration for a uh, heart rate pulse. Okay. That's all in the user settings. And that information is there. You can use Google maps with this thing. It'll work off of the GPS in your phone, uh, to show you your, your trajectory. You can change passwords if you log in and have security settings as well. Your target, this is where you set uh, your number of steps per day that you want it to uh, keep track of for you, and that's from the pedometer. And then device management. User settings and device management are kind of the big areas. Here we can select the continuous heart rate. You can lift the screen to show the time. <clears throat> Every time I try to demo that, it decides not to. There, thank you. Uh, call reminders, SMS reminders, your do not disturb is here. Screen saver settings. Uh-huh, interesting. You can select an image, it says. Well, you could get that from your, your own images. And let's save settings. Time position, I guess this is where, let's see, top left. Okay, it put the time up there, save settings says it's done successfully and there it changed it i guess so look at that okay so that's where you have some limited capability to set your own watch face with your own images if you'd like to as well all right it relaunched automatically sometimes this happens when you have a whole bunch of stuff i guess um 
Anyway, there it is, and you can set all these different reminders from drinking water, sedentary meetings, taking medicine, and push notifications of all of these different apps are available under more reminders. Basic alarm clock, theme settings, which are different themes that uh, I guess will display when you're on these different pages, perhaps. Oh, maybe there's the watch faces. Okay, I guess that's what they mean by theme. Here's where you select your different, uh, your different themes, your different uh, watch faces. All right, we'll go with that one. And time format, unit format, and you can reset and do firmware updates. That's all in the device management. You can shake it to take a snapshot. When you go into here, it should put your phone into camera mode. You just shake your arm and you can uh, do remote camera. Find your bracelet. It's now vibrating and lighting up. And here's the operating instructions for the band and the app. I know we're running through it pretty quickly because you guys don't want me to belabor it a lot. When you get in here, if you've got friends and you're logged in, you can share your information with your friends. When I go into sport, I get a full page map of my location with a start button and you can remotely activate the sporting activity and see your track on the map. And when you come to today, this is your overall today uh, information, which I just put it on. So I don't have daily, weekly or monthly totals, but they would be here. And there's the 24 hour chart that you would see on this and sleep monitoring you would have your whole sleep information in here as well and again you can see that by weekly and monthly and then your heart rate analysis and it is downloading some information from the band for this because we have been playing with it just a little bit and uh wow it says uh okay all your different zones here and as you scroll along it would show you the information on the app of your heart rate and there's your average your highest and your lowest and then there's a sleep average heart rate too since you got it set up for continuous heart rate uh, it can give you your resting heart rate which is a nice addition to this as well and that is it for the today this is where you land when you go into the app after you've got yourself all connected okay so we have been looking at the crystal too let's take it off again Take another look at it. Ooh, caught in my binders there. Okay, that's that web or that that background that we we sent to it. And if I tap it again, I can get into my watch face. So this is cool. I guess when it's in its sleep mode, those themes let you bring that up when you twist it, and you can change that, move the time around, all that. When you're actually activating it, you're in here. And as you saw, you've got your basic information, heart rate, sleep monitoring, and fitness, as well as find your phone. When you're here and you press and hold, you have a choice of turning it off, and that'll save you battery if you say goodbye. Okay, you've been watching Smart Watch Ticks. This is not the listing for this watch. Uh, I don't have one yet. If I have one, uh, I'll put it on here, and most likely I'm going to be publishing this before it's even in the marketplace. So look in the show notes down below for the Z-Blaze Crystal 2, okay? And uh, we'll have the best price we can find for you, and maybe even a discount coupon on top of that. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thank you for your presence, your thumbs up, your subscription, telling your friends, and sticking with us through all of these reviews. All right, we'll see you again soon.